In the first CSEC Next Generation 911 Production Lab video, we introduced the Next Gen 911 core services and CSEC's testing of the NINA I3 standards. This follow-up video will highlight concerns and questions from a 911 coordinator's perspective or a regional ESI net perspective on what it means to attach to the state-level ESI net. Here's Cap Gemini's Justin Jensen to answer those important questions. The current 911 infrastructure is designed to transport emergency voice calls from wireless, wireline, and VoIP access networks. Within the signaling information of the emergency call information, the calling party's phone number, referred to as the Automatic Number Identification, or ANI, is transmitted to one of 26 Class 4 telephone switches, or tandems, throughout the state of Texas. The tandem office uses selective routing to query the Selective Router Database and Master Street Address Guide, or MSAG, to determine which Public Safety Answering Point, or PSAP, the call should be routed to based on the provided ANI. The call is received by the PSAP over traditional Centralized Automated Message Accounting, or CAMA circuits, and the Automatic Location Information, or ALLE database, is queried to retrieve the caller's location information for display on the call taker's workstation. The migration of Next Generation 911 involves retirement of the legacy infrastructure and transition to a standards-based IP network designed to transport voice, video, and text multimedia along with precise location information and detailed incident data. This Emergency Services IP network, or ESINet, is designed specifically to transport emergency call traffic and is intended to interconnect all PSAPs at the local, regional, state, national, and international levels. Next Generation Core Services are a base set of functional elements required to process and route calls within an ESINet. These elements include an Emergency Services Routing Proxy, Emergency Call Routing Function, Location Validation Function, Border Control Function, Policy Store, and Logging Services. The Emergency Services Routing Proxy, or ESRP, provides policy-based call routing capabilities that replace the traditional selective router functionality and allows for fine-grained control of how emergency calls are routed to PSAPs. The Emergency Call Routing Function, or ECRF, replaces the tabular selective router database, MSAG, and ALLE capabilities with a GIS-backed data store that routes emergency calls using the geospatial coordinates of the caller's location instead of a telephone number. The Border Control Function, or BCF, provides security for the ESI net by inspecting all traffic entering and exiting the network, monitoring for potential security issues, and blocking malicious traffic that would prevent emergency calls from being delivered. Providing NGCS as discrete functional elements that are built according to industry standards means that CSEC can choose the best of breed technology and avoid customer proprietary technology that cannot be easily upgraded in the future. It also means that the state level NG911 system will be able to successfully interconnect and interoperate with other ESI nets that are built on the same open standards. The state level ESI net defined as a part of the CSEC NG911 master plan includes the concept of an origination access ESI net, or OAE to facilitate interconnectivity of state NG911 services. The Origination Access ESI Net will provide first hop connectivity to the state level ESI Net. It will do this by aggregating all emergency call traffic currently delivered to each individual PSAP host site and converting it to a standards compliant NG911 format that next generation access networks are currently providing and that includes an embedded caller's location. For PSAP host sites that are upgraded to receive NG911 calls delivered by the state level ESI Net, Two new pieces of equipment are needed, an IP router and a BCF. The IP router will allow the PSAP host site to interconnect to the state level ESI net, while the BCF will provide an additional layer of perimeter protection. Both pieces of equipment will be provided and managed as a part of the CSEC program and will be configured in a high availability redundant mode to maintain network connectivity in the event of an equipment failure. The CSEC State Level ESI Net and Next Generation Core Services will provide seamless statewide interconnectivity with other standards compliant regional and state ESI nets, as well as IP networks like the FirstNet LTE based National First Responder Network. As the state of Texas and country at large complete the migration to NG911, the legacy 911 infrastructure can be retired, paving the way for the national network of networks that supports advanced mobile technology and enhanced caller data. Want to know more? Visit us at www.csec.texas.gov.